Okay, so let's start. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we are doing the study of the fail. Uh, we know that the mandatory requirements is the pronoun chart. These are the topics that we're going to cover. Uh, past tense and then jumla filia, jumla ismia, and filia again, present and the future tense, and then uh, commanding and forwarding, and then passive, past passive, present passive, and then the jumla nafia. These are the topics we're going to cover. We are kind of still in number one and two. Uh, we started uh, jumla filia, and we're going to, uh, I mean, jumla filia, as we said, like, you know, one past tense, like one word, nasara is actually a jumla filia, because nasara means we learned that it means he helped. He helped, and that is a sentence actually. And so it is a jumla filia because there is a doer inside it. Okay, we also uh, saw uh, some of the examples that we're going to go today. The last week, uh, I mean, the week before, we did that. How without the pronoun, how an outside doer could be there, and now we know the uh, the 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 conditions to be an outside doer, and we know how we can translate those ones. Okay, and we're going to look at those today again, inshallah ta'ala Okay. And as always, the pronoun chart should be at the back of your hand, at the back of your hand, because we are learning fail. And this is very, very important that you are all uh, familiar with the pronoun chart. OK, uh, so let's go. So this was our fail Madi chart. OK, huwa nasara, huma nasara, hum nasaru, hiya nasarat, huma nasarata, hunna nasarna, and anta nasarta, anta nasatuma. All of this, I know I have given you the, the, the slides before in the PDF. So definitely you have this one. And uh, you probably understand already that, you know, the, the, the portion that is uh, covered with the square it tells you that that is the part is changing. So Nasara, you know, the, the, the first one is has a fatha, then there's extra alif, then, you know, wa, and then uh, the ta with sukun, ta with alif, and then noon, just before, uh, noon with sukun before it, okay? And then everything, the anta, antumanti, and ana nasar tu, nahnu nasarna. So all of these are the indication of the inside doer uh, based on the pronoun chart of the fail mati. Okay, so the past tense, okay. And we saw a few words okay, already. We had done an exercise uh, where we have like you know, 10 words already, okay. Uh, and there are many, 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 many fails in the Quran, okay. Uh, if you read Quran regularly, you will see, you know, a, a many of them there, okay. And as I said, you know, we'll concentrate on the vocabulary later. First, we know the rules and the, and the grammar rules and the regulations for how these are formed and you know, how they work, okay. Okay, the next thing, um, this was an exercise, so let's do some of them. So let's go one by one. Uh, I think before that we should, let me do this one, give me one second. Okay, so let's do this page first because this was our part of the review that, you know, these are the 14 words, okay? And we talked about that, you know, these two, Nasara and Nasarat, Hua and the Hia version is an important one because they are the ones Whenever you see them, whenever you see a hua or a hia version, you just don't translate right away. You wait and see there is another uh, ism that comes after it, okay, which we call the outside doer. And it will be only outside doer when the gender is matching and also it is rafa. Also it is rafa. So that's what we did, okay. And we said that, you know, um, uh, there is this is called file this is called file uh, so the fail is there and the file and the, there are two kinds of file okay uh, the file with um, the inside file and the outside file that's what we learned inside doer and the outside doer and we did a lot of examples we saw that you know some of the times okay the fail is there and the, the file is right after it. Okay, sometimes it is right after it. Like for example, khalaq Allahu. Okay, Allah created. Okay, uh, sometimes we saw that no, there is something else. You know, maybe a half of jar or something uh, before between the fail and the file. That also we saw. Uh, like qala lahu Musa. Okay, we said qala lahu Musa. Okay, when Musa said. Okay, but still it is after the fail. The file is still after the fail, and if it can be rafa, then it is rafa. So we we said that you know uh, that is also fine and then it will be outside doer and what is outside doer is nothing but that rafa will be the doer so that rafa will replace the he or she inside uh, doer okay and it is only possible when it is here or uh, who are in version okay so you know either it's nasara or nasarat version so only these two is possible 
if the fail start with any of the other 12 words, which is Nasara, Nasaru, Nasarata, Nasarna, then it is not possible. Then you translate as it is. Then you translate as it is. Okay. So uh, in terms of fail, okay, uh, as, as many, many fail, we're going to talk about present tense and everything. So we have learned about past tense. For file, we learned about two things so far inside doer and outside doer so this is what we learned so far okay so inside doer is already inside the world okay again i'm just uh, repeating that you know so that you understand properly that inside doer is already inside the uh, past tense okay outside doer has two or three condition you know the way you're going to describe it okay the condition is that there should be ism after that who are the here version and it has to be rafa okay sometime it is right after sometime maybe it's not right after maybe something in between okay so this is fail and file uh, that we did so far okay in the last uh, two or three sessions of the fail okay so we learn the pronoun chart uh, we learn the inside doers that how the ending part of the changing you know according to the pronoun based and it is it is you know giving us different inside doers and then we know about the outside and now know about the outside Okay, now let's look at something new, something called maful, something called maful. So we have fail, file, and maful. Okay, so what is maful? Maful is nothing but uh, the details of the of the thing, the details. Okay, the the, the main terminology of maful is details. Okay, details means when a fail is there, you know there could be an inside file or an outside file the inside file or outside file okay and the job of a fail and file is to do something that is the verb okay and in english we call it verb the past tense or and, and we are learning the past tense if, if it will be in the past so we are saying he helped okay she studied okay uh, we prayed okay so there must be an action okay now with the action if you add some more details that is called maful that is called maful, okay? And there are different types of maful, okay? And because maful is the details, by definition, it's called details. So that's why it is going to be nasab, you know, at 99% you know, time. Sometimes it is a bit different, okay? And we're going to come to the exception later on, okay? But maful is always nasab because that is the details. That is the details of a sentence. For example, Allah created the world, okay? So what did Allah create Allah created the all, okay? Um, I recited uh, the Quran. I recited, what did I recite? The Quran. So all these things are, are as you can see, that, you know, these are the details of the sentence. And if you ask the fail the question, what did you do? When did you do? How did you do? All these questions that you get answers, these are the details. We did the same things when we learned the first you know, or second lesson when you talked about Rafa Nasab and Jal, okay? And we said that, you know, Nasab means that something that the details, okay? Rafa is the doer, okay? And we're seeing those things now, okay? Because the file, the outside file is Rafa. Inside file is also Rafa, but we cannot see them because it's inside, hidden, right? But the outside file has to be Rafa to be Rafa, okay? For the Hua and the Hia version, okay? Now we are saying that Maful is the details and the details, how do you know this is the details? You ask the question, you see, okay, what is the fail doing? When it is doing, how it is doing, where it is doing, okay? All these questions give you different types of muffle. And these are the terminology that we need to know, but they're very easy. You just have to remember them. Uh, it is not very difficult, you know, uh, but it is important that you know this terminology, okay? Uh, for example, you know, I ate an apple outside yesterday quickly out of hunger, okay? So I is the doer. Eight is the fail our fail madi here because it's past tense okay because we are learning past tense okay the same applies for present tense as well uh, you know when you're going to learn present tense we're not going to have a different uh, session for my full it's going to be the similar thing okay exactly the same thing but you know we, we'll touch up on that when we come to present tense okay so i is doer eight is fail apple you know, what did i eat okay detail okay outside detail where did i eat outside okay when did i eat yesterday how did I eat quickly? Okay. Uh, why did I eat it? Okay. Out of hunger. So <clears throat> this sentence is giving you different types of different types of muffle, different types of muffle. So just to show you uh, an example that has every kind of muffle is this. This is the thing. Okay. So I think it is pretty clear to all of you. 
and then obviously we're going to see some examples from the Quran, some part of the ayah. Uh, but before that, the concept should be clear. So the maful is nothing but the details. <clears throat> it doesn't mean that every time you have what, where, when, how, why, every day, it's not going to have that. Okay, sometimes you have only one thing. Okay, if I just say, you know, I ate an apple. That's it. I can put a full stop there, right? So what did I eat? And I did an apple. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> for example, you know, we did the example, you know, Ar-Rahmanu. Okay. Ar-Rahmanu allam al qurana Okay. So Ar-Rahman, <coughs> he taught the Quran. So what did he taught? Okay. He, he, he teach the Quran. Okay. So the Quran is the maful. And that's why allam al qurana That is nasab. Okay. So any kind of uh, details could be there. Okay. There is no order that you know okay the what will be coming first why it will be coming next when no it could be different type of maful it could be more than one maful it could be more than three maful okay doesn't matter okay it could be anything but as long as you can recognize them that should be good okay uh next thing the terminology related to the maful okay so something called maful bihi maful bihi who and what details it always someone or something a pronoun is attached to a faith okay what does it mean so we are saying here that we say that you know who or what so you know uh, allah helped them who did allah help them okay i ate an apple what did you eat an apple so this kind of thing the question of who and what whatever you get you know the answer that type of maful is called maful bihi these are just some categories okay these are just some categories and, and terminologies related to maful. Okay, so maful bihi uh, actually it says that you know uh, bahi is strong actually should be bihi. Okay, there's a typo here. Maful bihi. Okay, so b and he. Okay, maful bihi. Uh, so the maful bihi, bihi are those when you ask the question who or what. Okay, maful fihi is when and where. So you know you know uh, I went to school where did i go to school okay uh we prayed in mecca okay where did i pray we pray in mecca so when and where did the maful fihi and as you can see from the time of the maful bihi what does bihi means b means with it's a half of jar right bihi with it okay uh, and in it fihi is in it so it's kind of giving you the meaning that in who and what you know and when and where so maful bihi and maful fihi okay this means time and place, that is in what time or in what place, okay? Maful hal. Maful hal means, you know, we all say kaifa haluka, right? You know, in the Arabic thing, you know, we say, okay, hal means, you know, how, okay? So how, the details of how, like, you know, in the previous example, we say, uh, how did you eat it? Quickly, okay? So, you know, I... Um, I prayed, you know, slowly, okay? He recited fast, okay? So something that is giving the answer of how, that is called maful hal, conditional state, you know, mostly, you know, L-Y words, you know, quickly, you know, uh, slowly, all this kind of word, you know, mostly these are uh, maful hal, okay? Maful lahu is why. So lahu means for, like for it, okay? So maful lahu is why. So, you know, I did it for you, okay? Uh, I came to masjid, uh, for the sake of Allah, okay. So why the question why is maful lahu? And there is a last type of maful is called maful mutlak. Maful mutlak, and maful mutlak is an interesting one. Okay, this is more used to do an uh, emphasizing or a stressor. Okay, meaning if you want to make something uh, uh, more emphatic. Then you use something called maful mutlak, and there are uh, you know a few examples in the Quran about maful mutlak, and we're gonna look into them soon, inshallah. Ta'ala. Okay, we'll have some examples today. Uh, maful mutlak, you know, to give a quick English example, uh, if I say that you know that you know the car, for example, there's an accident or something, right? You know, uh, um, and it's a, it's a big, it's a big uh, sound, okay. So it make a big sound, okay, or it has a big bang, okay. So uh, uh, so something that is big, okay. So same word, same word. If you say it like you know, uh, in the cricket, like you know, if you say you know, he hit a big run, he hit a big run, okay. So something that you know, he ran for a big run or something like that, or he he, he shot for a big shot, okay. So something to emphasize, even in the English, you know, it 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 gives you that you know, it's something that is big. Okay, something to emphasize that is called maful mutlak. Okay, and then we'll see one or two examples of that. Okay, so let's look at some of the examples. Rafana fauka kumutura. Okay, so rafana, rafana, as you can see, rafana, uh, this ending with a na, 
Okay, so this is our uh, we because you know nasarna rafa'na. Okay, there's a sukun before that and noon with an alif. So rafa means to raise something. Okay, wa rafa'na like a zikra as we we, we read in the, in the Quran uh, in the surah. So rafa'na means we raise. Fawkakum. Okay, fawkakum. What is fawkakum? Okay, the meaning is already there. But you know, can anybody tell me what is fawkakum means? Anyone? Is it a fragment? Is it what, what is this fawkakum? Where did you learn about fawka? Special mood of. Yes, special mother. Very good, sister. And what is Fauka means? And its meaning is already there. But above, above yeah. all of you, yeah, above all of you is kum. Okay, you know, Rafa'ana Fauka kumutura, and it's the tura means the the mountain. Okay, so the mount or the mount tura, as we said. Okay, and this is a part of the ayah from the Quran. So here we can see the Rafa'ana. So who is the doer? Rafa'ana means we raise. So the doer is inside doer here. Okay, Rafana. Okay, and the we is so we raised. What did we raise? Okay, we raised the mountain. Okay, the mountain tour. Okay, so that's why Atura, Atura, as we can see here, is maful bihi here. Atura is the maful bihi. Okay, what did we raise? We raised the mountain. Where did we raise it? Above all of you. Okay, so Faukakum is also our maful fihi. So in this sentence, okay, we have. A inside doer. So our fail is rafa. Okay. Rafa means to raise. Rafa with a ain. Okay. Rafa na means we raise. So that is our file inside file. Okay. Then we have two maful here. Maful bihi and maful fihi. Maful bihi is what? What did you do? So the what did you raise? Okay. In this particular example, the tour. And that's why the atura. Because atura is a is a ism obviously because there's al there you can easily see that and that's why it is nasab atura. Fauka is also nasab. Remember we said that in you know, a sister mentioned that you know this is special mudaf. We have we have fauka tahta bada no qabla. Okay, all these things and mostly they are mostly they are nasab. Okay, now you know why they are nasab because they are mostly the details. Okay. And that's why they are called zarf. You no, know, the place and the, the zarf means you know uh, they are for the uh, time and place. Okay, so faukakum above all of you. Now, if you can, if you see the thing, it says rafana faukakumut tora. So the the mim has a mim has a dhamma on top of it. We learned about kum. Okay, faukakum. Okay, so you know uh, anta is ka. You know antuma is kuma and antum is kum. Okay, so but there is why it is kumu, why it is faukakumu. This is for the reading rule. This is for a reading room. This is not, not grammatical reason. So sometimes to attach the last letter with the next word, Fawqa okay? And there should be, because there's alif lam there, okay? So the al is silent here because of the ta is a, uh, no, it's just, it's a, it's a stun letter, okay? So this is the reading rules, okay? And I, I believe all of you know the reading rules, okay? So this kumu, Fawqa kumu, it's not like, you know, not a, you, you may think, okay, what is kumu? I never learned about kumu, okay? No, this is actually kum, because the, the kum has a sukun, so you cannot attach a sukun to the next letter. So to make it sound, you know, sometimes you know they add a haraka, either a u or a a or a e. Okay, like you know we talked about min, right? Min means from. Okay, but we say min allahi, min allahi. So we put an extra fatha on nun, mina, then allahi, like. So that's why, so it's because reading rule, okay? Uh, for example, uh, we had an, an means about, you know that, right? Uh, half of jar, okay? But we say anin, anin naim, okay? Anin naim, okay? We said in the uh, surah takasur towards the end, right? Anin naim. So anin naim, so we add a kasra. So those are reading rules, okay? So by looking at it, don't get like panic. Oh, I never learn of this, no. This is still the same thing. But sometimes reading rules, reading rules uh, add, 
um, extra haraka on top of the last letter if there's a sukun. Okay, sometimes it does. Okay, just to sound it good, and that is a rule in Arabic uh, reading and tajwids, and that is normal. Okay, so rafana fauka kumutora in this uh, sentence. Okay, and this is as you can see, it's a full jumla failure. Okay, we have a doer. We have a you know fail and the file and we have two maful two maful uh, there maful bihi and maful fihi okay everybody clear on that so far okay all five of you are okay alhamdulillah bar assalamu alaikum very quickly maybe yes. i am wrong normally when we say ana ana means i but you say here ui but there is no nah no here can you explain that why yeah. you say ui Rafana, right? because it's Rafana, that's why you need to go through the pronoun chart. If we go back, you will yeah. see Ana is U sound. Look at these 14 mm -hmm. words here on the left side. Yeah, look at the last one Nasar, tu, tu. and Nasar, na. This is an Ana, na, you know, Ana, Nasar, tu. So if it was Rafa, U, or okay, Rafa, tu, okay, then it would have been uh, the uh, I, but it is mm -hmm. Rafa, na. Okay, like nasar na. Okay, so if anytime you see a noon with the alif, right. noon with the alif, and then they have it, it has a sukun just before it, then this is yeah. the ui. Because okay. that's the that's our pronoun chart. Okay, that's our pronoun chart. Mm -hmm. So if we go here back, see here, nahnu nasar na. There won't be nahnu obviously because nahnu is an independent pronoun. Okay, mm -hmm. so nahnu is, is a different thing. If nahnu was there, that would be muktata. Okay. okay okay so because because so that's why the, this this see the square part you know it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a circle in the square okay rounded so these are the things that you need to know that this is the ending so rafana is just like nasarna so that's why it's we not i okay oh, if it were well. rafa mm -hmm. tu rafa tu then it would have been i raised mm -hmm. okay if it is a nas, uh, no rafata then you raised okay if it was rafati you feminine raised okay rafa tuma both of you raised okay so just have to follow that okay so mm, that's why it is we okay let's go back okay so we have this next one wakatala daudu jaluta wakatala daudu jaluta okay so now in this example in this example as you can see the word katala is like nasara. Okay. The wa at the beginning is just an end. Okay. So it is part of another ayah. So it's just joining that. Okay. It is not wa means I swear. So you know that's why the katala is not katali. Okay. Because if it is a wa of an you know, I swear, then it will be half of jar. Okay. So it's just an end. Okay. So katala means he killed. Okay. Or he killed or he fought. Okay. Now daudu, daudu is after katala and it is rafa. So definitely, this is the outside doer because katala is the hua version. So that's condition number one, and also, also daudu is the rafa, okay, and it's matching that gender. Daud is daud is a, is a you know masculine, and katala is also masculine. <clears throat> so katala daudu means daud kill. Daud kill who? Jaluta. Daud kill the jalut. Okay, then jaluta is here. Maful bihi. Maful bihi. Okay, so who did Daud kill? Daud kill Jalut. Okay, or, or Galiat. Okay, whatever you call in English. Okay, so here, as you can easily see, the Jalu ta, not Jaluti or Jalutu. Okay, Jalu ta. Okay, and Jaluti is not possible at all because it's like partly flexible word. It cannot take Kasra, but you know, if someone recite Wakatala Dauda Jalutu, then whole thing will be different. It will be. You know, Jalut kill Daud. Because Daud has a U sound and Jalut has a A sound. And we can see one is Rafa, one is Nasr. Both are Isam. This is two names. So Katala is our verb or the tense or the past tense here, right? He kill. Now then there's two names after that. One with the U sound <coughs> and one with the A sound. The one that is has U sound, that is our Rafa. That is our outside doer. Okay. And the one that is Nasab, that is the details. And in this case, it is the maful bihi. Look at this one sound change. The, you know, you can make a major mistake. You can make a major mistake. And that's why when you learn this, and I again and again remind you that, you know, the importance of learning this, this Arabic of the Quran so that, you know, you understand the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also 
you keep yourself safe from making this kind of mistakes, okay, in, in your recitation, okay, in your recitation, in your salah, okay. So, Wakatala Dawudu Jaluta, okay, this is a historical fact. Dawud kill Jalut, okay, Allah is saying, telling us the story, right? So, you know, we can't just say Wakatala Dawuda Jalutu, okay, then it will be completely different, okay, completely wrong. Okay, just like we say, you know, Khalaq Allah has you know, you know, He created Allah. Okay, so that is also wrong. Okay, so just like that, this will be also wrong. Now, everybody understand this simple example, Katara Dawudu Jaluta. So, here we have, if I say, what is our doer here? Your answer should be the doer is the outside doer, the word Dawud, because it's Dawudu. Okay, what is our uh, maful here? The Jalut is the maful. What type of maful is Jalut? Is it maful bihi or maful fihi or maful hal or maful lahu? It will be maful bihi because who did Dawud kill? Who did Dawud kill that? So who and what? When you ask the question, who and what? It's maful, maful bihi. Okay? So I think that is all clear. Next word, inni Dawudu kaumi laylan wa nahara. Okay? So let's someone translate that for me, please. So what is inni means? Uh, Brother Farhad? Indeed. indeed. Only indeed? Look at the word first properly. That is indeed, I think we learn inna. Right? A half of nasab inna. Inna anna ka anna, laita lak inna la anna. Those are our half of nasab. And inna means certainly or indeed. But it is not inna, it is inni. So what is inni means? You know that. Sister Tanya, can you try what is inni means? Brother say indeed. I say no, it's not indeed. It's certainly we. <laughs> yeah, close, but not we. Certainly I. I. Yeah, certainly we would have been inna with the no. alif. Okay. Yeah. So inna plus ana, and ana becomes e or ni, right? So it's ni here, okay? So it should be inna ni. It should be inna ni, but you know, sometimes because it's too, it's too much, too much noon sound, okay? Inna ni, okay? So there's two noon with the inna and then another one. So they say in ni, okay? Just, you know, ni sound, okay? So in ni means certainly I. Certainly, I okay. Now look at the next word. Da au tu, da au tu, okay. As if na sar tu, da au tu, okay. Same thing. And here da au tu means okay. Da means to call someone, right? So uh, brother mine, what is da au tu means? What pronoun is there under da au tu? What is it like? You know the fourteen words that we learn: nasara, nasaro, nasunu, okay, nasarna. Nasartuma. So what, what is the out to which one it matches out of those 14 words? Can you remember? But Nasartu is, is something. Yeah, so the out is like Nasartu. What pronoun? Is she? No, that is Nasarta. Uh, nasarat. That is Nasarat. The ta has a sukun. This is ta with a, with a dhamma at the end. There's only one like this. And that is I, the pronoun I. So da'otu means, so certainly I, and da'otu means to give da'wa. I called, certainly I, I call, kaumi, okay? Uh, what is kaumi means, Jaina? A group of people or nation. Yeah, of, nation. Nation. Yeah, nation, but you know, just the, that's called kaum, okay? But there are four letters here. Kaum, meem, and then a yeah at the end, okay? So it is kaum, me. Is it the nation? No. The, my nation? The, my, my nation, nation. My yes, nation. yes. Not the nation. The nation should be having al there. There's no al here, right? The nation, because there's an e attached again, okay? So kaum, me, like, you know, rabbi, you know, my lord. Kaumi is my nation. So certainly I, then comma, I call Kaumi my nation. Now, now Kaumi is also Nasab here. Okay. Why Nasab? Because it is the maful. And also the when meme and a yeah got attached, which is a e for ana e kaumi, 
it's like alif maksura so you know it can have kaumia okay so kaumi actually my nation okay and my nation here is is maful because alif maksura it could be nasab and it is nasab here okay so certainly i i call my nation lailan wa naharan lailan wa naharan lail means you know you know what lail means right what is lail means brother farad lail means night. night yes and nahar night. means day laila laila okay and nahar means day okay okay so lailan wa naharan both of them are what is status what status nafana sabjar quickly nasab no sir nasab yes so because they are my full so there's a time right so certainly i i call my nation night and day okay night and day okay so all of them are maful bihi so here the inni the first part inni as you know it's a half of nasab you know it's certainly i that is actually our mubtada and this example is telling you that you know uh, because we we learned about mubtada remember so it could be the you know first rafa or half of nasab so here it starts with the mubtada then we have a fail then we have a fail okay and and this is the jumla failure so this is a mix of jumla failure and jumla ismia we already started that okay as you can see in this example that you know the first part is jumla you know is part of a jumla ismia which is a muqtada and the whole part after that dawutu kaumi lailan and nahara it's a jumla failure but you know it's it's a part of the jumla ismia so as you can see like it's a if you put a bracket before dawutu and and nahara so the whole thing dawutu kaim and nahara is like our khabar okay certainly i okay i call people you know uh, my people night and day so here we have different things here so inni is our half of nasab and our muqtada dawutu is our uh, fail and it's a it's a fail and the file inside because it's a i here like rafana was we dawutu is i so this is our fail and file and then we have maful who did we, who did i call my nation so that's our maful bihi when did i call them night and day so that is our maful maful fihi so here maful bihi and maful fihi and all of them are nasab as you can see lailan wa naharan lailan wa naharan okay uh, can lailan and naharan be a mouse of sifa hmm? is lailan and naharan can be mouse of sifa Yes. No, it cannot be. Why? She has why why Lailan and Nahara not Masu Sifa? There's a half atuf in between. Yes, very good. There's a half atuf. There's a why in between. Masu Sifa, you can't have something in between, right? If it is Lailan, Nahara, then it could be. There's a why. It's and so night and day. Okay, and if there's an and, then we can't have. Adjective, right? You know, adjective has to be, you know, mouse of sifa has to be side by side. Okay, so lailan wanaharan. Okay, so this is not a mouse of sifa. It doesn't look like mouse of sifa because the, the half atav there, wa is there, so it cannot be mouse of sifa. Okay, so this example tells us that we have a fail and the file, and we have again two maful. Okay, actually three maful, the two types of maful you can say. One is maful bihi, one is maful uh, fihi, and maful fihi is the when, uh, day, night, and day, night and day. Okay, everybody clear on that? Okay, perfect. Inshallah. Next example. Haraja minha khayifan. Haraja minha khayifan. Kharaja means to exit, to exit, okay? Kharaja means to exit or to left someplace, okay? So I left the masjid, okay? Okay? Kharashtu, kharashtu to masjid, okay? So kharaja is means to left, okay? So kharaja is like nasara, so he left, okay? Minha, from it, from it. Khaifan, okay? Khaifan, as you can clearly see, there's a nasab, khaifan, and, and also it is heavy also, khaifan, because we know by default the words are heavy, Unless there is a reason to be light, okay? So that's why Lailan and Naharan also heavy, like Fatha, you know, double Fatha, double Kasra, double Dhamma. These are the heavy words if you, if you forget about that. So Lailan, Naifan, and Khaifan. And Khaifan means fearfully. 
the, the khayif means the fearfully, okay? So he left from it khayif and fearfully, okay? So this is an example of maful hal. How did he left? How did he left? He left out of fear or fearfully, okay? So this is an example. This is an example of maful hal, maful hal, okay? Is that clear to everyone? Any question so far? So all these four examples that we did, no question. So it's just going through the terminology, inshallah, uh, that you know what is maful bihi, what is maful fihi, what is maful hal, and what is maful lahu. And there are some examples of maful lahu as well. We'll see that soon, inshallah. And then we have maful, maful mutlak as well. Let's see if we have an example of maful mutlak. Okay. Look at this one. Nasarakallahu nasran. Nasarakallahu nasran. Okay. Now, here, as you can see, uh, there's uh, two things to look at here. First of all, Nasara. Nasara means he helped. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have a ka. Okay. So he helped you. Okay. Remember this ka I told you last week or the week before that whenever you see an attached pronoun with an fail, that is a maful. Okay. Meaning that is a details. Okay. That is not the pronoun. You don't say you help because just, you, just because you saw a ka there, you don't say this is you help. No. Nasara means he helped. He helped who? He helped you. Nasaraka. Okay. Now, so he helped you. Nasaraka means he helped you. Then we have a word Allahu. And this is after Nasara. And it is it is Rafa. So Allah helped you. Allah helped you. This is our outside doer. The word Allahu is our outside doer. So Nasaraka Allahu is our outside doer. Now here, as you can see, the maful. If I say Allah helped you, up to that part is fine. So and and here the ka the maful bihi actually, you know, before the file, before the doer. So nasara is our fail, which is he helped. The outside doer is the word Allahu, and in between them there is the attached pronoun ka. So it it came before, you know, fail. Okay which is fine, it can come because there's no other place to put it. We can't say Nasar Allah Okay. You know, the, you know, it doesn't, because if I, there's only two words, Nasara and the word Allah. Where are you going to attach Ka? If you attach Ka with Allah, then it's, you're attaching, attach pronoun with the ism. And then it's going to be, you know, not right. It's going to be, you know, the mudaf and mudaf ilay. So Nasar Allah Huka. Okay. So like, you know, you're Allah, okay, something like that. That doesn't make sense in this way, okay? We want to say Allah helped you. So we have to attach this car somewhere. And we have only two words. Either you attach with a fail or the file, okay? So obviously you have to attach with the fail because the attach with the fail gives you the meaning of maful bi. So nasara kallahu means Allah helped you. Now, there's another word after that, nasran. Nasran, okay? Now this nasran is all... Um, is some file okay, and we'll learn about this. You know, when you learn fail, okay, this one actually the same word, but because it has the uh, for the time being, you remember this way because because you see that Nasran has a ten vin, and remember, we said if any word has ten vin, this is an ism, this is an ism, okay. There are only two places and you know, two very rare you know, examples in the Quran that has uh, tanwin, but they are failed. Okay, but other than that, anytime you see a al or a tanwin, they are uh, ism. So nasran. So here nasran is the maful mutlak. So as if we are trying to say here, Allah helped you a great help. Allah help you a great help, a huge help. Okay. So maful mutlak is the emphasizer. The word nasran. Okay. Being it being a ism, it being a ism because it has a two uh, two uh, fatha on the top. Okay, so this is means a great help. So Allah helped you with a great help, with a great help, or you can say, you know, Allah helped you, you know, greatly. Okay, immensely. Okay, so that's why this is an example of maful mutlak. In most of the cases, maful mutlak is a repetitive word of the fail, but in a ism form, in a ism form. Okay, so it's, it's the mutlak form. Okay, so nasara kallahu nasran. Okay, for example, there's another place in the Quran and uh, in the beginning of Surah Fatha. Okay, Surah Al Fatha. Okay, and uh, Allah say, you know, that you know, uh, I helped you with a, you know, inna fathahna laka fatham mubina. Okay, so fathan, fathan mubina. Now fathan, so fatha means fataha, like nasara to, you know, to open up something. 
or you know to give victory okay so fataha you know this is surah fatiha is the opening okay so in, in in the terminology before when you open something means you got victory like you know he opened the city meaning you know, in, in previous time when the kings or on the on the people used to uh, conquer a land okay this is this called fataha to open or victory okay like that's why we say fatah makkah Fatima means, you know, Prophet Sallam opened the Makkah, meaning open the Makkah means that he, he conquered the Makkah, okay, after, you know, eight years in, in Medina, he called Fatima Makkah. So, in Fatah na laka Fatham Mubina. So, I have given you, okay, a great victory, Fathan Mubina. So, usually, Maful Mutlaq, and there are other examples of Maful Mutlaq also in the Quran, but 99% time, 99%, not always, 99% time, it is the same word that the fail is, and it is just in the ism form with a tanwin, like fathan, nasran, just like that. Everybody clear on that? But you know, maful mutlak is obviously not as many as maful bihi or maful fihi or maful hal, okay? Uh, this is a special category. There are examples in the Quran, but not as many as the other ones, okay? And we'll see some of them, uh, some more, inshallah, as we go through the present tense and everything, we'll come across some of the maful mutlak as well, okay? But the quick way to understand maful mutlak is the same fail, okay? You will find a fail like that. And the word is similar, but in a ism format, okay, because it has a tanwin. It has a tanwin. So just as a, in, the, in the screen, as you can see, Nasarakallahu Nasran. Nasarakallahu Nasran. Okay. Is that clear to everyone? So, uh, brother, when you say uh, in the Quran, Allah said uh, in Surah, Inna Fatha Fathan Mubir. Inna means Allah is saying here, certainly. Yeah, certainly. We, certainly. If, you, if you look at the word inna in the first word in Surah Fatah, it's not inna with a noon only. Inna, okay, with an alif there. So that is certainly okay. we, okay, certainly we. Fatahna, like rafa'na is fatahna. Okay, so certainly we, we open. So there's two we. And anytime you see like certainly, obviously certainly, certainly means what? Like indeed, for sure. So it's the emphasizer as well. Okay. For example, in the skin, as you can see, inni dawutu. Okay. If Allah would have said dawutu kaumi laylan nahara means I call pe my people day and night. But Allah added inni. So it's an extra emphasizer. Just like inna. Okay. Like, like inni. So inna means certainly we. Fatahna. Like rafana. We open or we give victory. Okay. Laka. Fatahna. Laka. Laka means for you. Okay, who's this you here? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? Inna fatahna laka. Fathan. Fathan is, is the maful mutlaq. What did we give you? What did you give the victory? A great victory. So we gave, so fathan is a maful here. That's why it's nasab. You know, I didn't say nasarallahu nasrun or nasrin. No, it's nasran because it it's must be nasab because it's a maful hal, right? So just like that, inna fatahna laka for you. So I have given a great victory, and and for you is actually also is the you know here another maful here. Okay, who did you give it for? For you. Okay, so this is maful bihi. Inna fatahna laka fathan, just like you know, nasran fathan mubina mubina. Actually, if you say look at the word, because we don't say the when the ayah finish, we don't say the last haraka, right? We say, but if you look at the Quran, it's a fathan mubinan, and that is a most of sifa, a clear great victory. That's a most of sifa as well. Okay, so in fathana like a mubina. Okay, so everybody understand this different terminology of maful. So maful bihi, maful fihi, and as think please, uh, this is a typo. It's not maful bahi. It's maful bihi, maful fihi, maful hal, maful lahu, and maful mutla. Okay, so these are the the different types of maful uh you know as i said you know before uh, different grammarians you know they have different categories as well okay uh, but more or less it's the same thing okay there's some people uh, they have uh, one extra or they can you know they can have maful hal and maful fihi in the same one oh, it doesn't matter okay as long as you understand that this is a maful that's that's good enough okay this is maful bihi and maful fihi okay let's look at the next thing so this is just to summarize the different type of maful, maful bihi, who and what details, okay? Maful lahu is why details, okay? Maful fihi is when and where details. Maful hal is how, and maful mutlak, as we just saw, is emphasizer, is emphasizer. Everybody clear so far? Okay, very good.
So I ate from the plate in hurry. Okay, this is another example. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, so this is just an English example to show you that, you know, uh, what are different types of mafud. Okay, look at this one here. Okay, uh, ashabu fi darihim, you know, jasimina. Ashabu fi darihim. Okay, so I know obviously you don't know the meaning of it, but that's fine. So, but let's look at this first word. Ashabu, as, sorry, asbahu. Asbahu. So what pronoun could be inside that? Let's see. Brother Saiful, you, you joined with late today, right? So can you tell me, like, by looking at the word asbahu, what pronoun is inside? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fail here, asbahu. Yeah. But... Yeah. So this one will have in he in the plural form. Yeah, he in the plural form yeah. is what? Yeah, is uh, all of them? Yes, that's it. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Yeah. In the plural yeah. form is all of them. Yeah. So they, yeah. they, yeah. they, okay. they, yeah. Okay. Asbahu means to um, to brighten something, okay, to make yeah. something yeah. lighten up, okay. Yeah. Fi darihim, okay. Fi darihim, <clears throat> what is fi darihim means? All of the word means, you know, fi act in. in. Yes, what is dar means? Dar. You I read about know. dar. We memorize the word that once. God. Is it mm -hmm. uh, is it a door? No. No, not door. It means house. House. Okay. Remember, oh, we, we, dar, we, dar, 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 whatever. Yeah, house. Yes, yes. Yeah, and wait, dar, wait, yeah. wait, Darul why? Islam, you, house of Islam. Yeah. Yes, yes. So why, why, where did we learn about that? Do you remember? Can you remember why did we learn about this word that? This is a special word actually. Dar. Bait also means house, but dar is also yeah. special. I forgot. Uh, remember, we had a quick story that there are a few words, 17 or 18 words, the Arabs said they are feminine. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is true. Okay. That is true. So that, yeah. is, that is one of the words. Dar yeah. is, yeah. means house, but this is feminine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Dari he means, so Fi Dari he means. Fi, fi Dari him means, again, because it's feminine, it's him, is she, with her, her house. Mm -hmm. Him is not she. Oh, sorry, him. Him is not her house, all of their houses. Yes, yeah, so in their house, okay? So in, in their, their house. houses. Okay. Now, in a jasimina, as you can see, it's in a sound, okay? So this is a uh, it's, mafur. It's rafa. Uh, no, no, it's not rafa. It's either nasab or jar, but it is nasab here because it is the... It is. Oh, sorry, not una. Yeah, yeah it's not una. It's yeah. ina, right? It's not ina. Ina, ina, ina. ina could be nasab or jar, but in this it yeah. is nasab because it is the maful of asbahu. Asbahu. Okay. Yeah. So uh, here we are trying to say that you know, here as you can see the fi dari him part, that is a clearly is it is from our Islam studies in their house, and this is actually a um, harf of jar. Fi dari him. Okay, so half of Jaffi is the half of Jaffi. And this is Muta'alleq bil fail. It is called MBF. Okay, we had Muta'alleq bil, you know, cover uh, before, MBK before. Mm -hmm. Now this is called MBF. Okay, so anytime, as we can see that, you know, uh, if you don't have the fi dari him part, it will be asbahu, you know, jasimina. Okay, so asbahu is our. Uh, they lightened up and jasimina is meaning that you know um, for the new people okay or, or people who, who came new okay uh, so this means that you know this is a muffle but in between them there is fi darihim so just like you know when we learned about muqtada khabar and muta'allik bil khabar we say that muta'allik bil khabar could be special mudaf and harf of jar special mudaf or harf of jar okay in muta'allik bil fail in mutalik will fail in a jumla failure okay it only is the harf of jar it's not the uh, not the other things okay so in our isam jumla ismi study we had three part okay i'm just reminding you muktada khabar mutalik will khabar and we how we know these different things muktada is the first rafa or harf of nasab khabar is our second rafa khabar could be nasab and we'll talk about it very soon inshallah okay and also we say mutalik bil khabar, which is MBK, is either harf of jar or special muda, fauka, tahta, bada, kabla, all these things. 
in the example of Joomla failure that, that we are doing here now, right? Because we already started Joomla failure because as I said, Nasara means he helped. It's a Joomla failure by itself, okay? But we are going far before Nasara. We are saying Nasara, Kallahu, Nasra, and we're doing different type of maful, okay? If you see a harf of jar in a Joomla failure, only a half of jar I'm talking about, okay? And the attached thing with the half of jar. For example, here it is fi dari him. Fi makes dar dari, okay? Because it's a fi, let's make the jar dari. Dari him is a mudaf mudafile. But they're all, all in the same bucket. They're all attached to each other. Fi is attached with the dari, dari is attached with the him. So anything that attached with the half of jar is called mutalik bil fail in the jumla failure. Everybody clear on that? Okay, so we can see here that this is fail and file, and this is MBF, and this is maful hal. Okay, so what I'm showing here in the skin that just like you know in in uh, Joomla ismia, in Joomla failure also there are different parts. Okay, we have a fail. Okay, we have a file. Okay, the fail is the action. It could be past tense, it could be past passive, present tense, present passive, okay, command and forbidding, okay? But we don't know about those. We just know about the past tense now, okay? So, for example, it could be a past tense, okay, like for Nasara, okay? Then the file, file is the doer. It could be inside doer, okay? Or it could be outside doer as well, okay? Rafa and anywhere after fail. It can be come anywhere after the fail. Then we have maful. Maful is the details as we have different types of maful. We just saw that, right? You know, uh, we said, you know, Rafana Fauka Kumtura, okay? We say, Wakatala Dawudu Jaluta, right? Different maful, okay? And then we have Muta'alleg Bil Fail, which is nothing but Jar Majur instead of Nasal, okay? So this is a detail about the fail, okay? This is a detail. So this is not a maful. This is mutalib. It's one type of maful, you can say. Okay, so one type of maful. But if that maful is a jar majrur, then we call that mutalib will fail. So, uh, for example, uh, if we say, um, uh, okay, I called, okay, okay, I called you, okay, fill masjidi, fill masjidi, I called you in the masjid. Or I give dawa to you in the masjid. So dawa to fill masjid. Okay. I gave you dawa or I called you or, okay, or, or I gave you counsel in the masjid. Now, if I if I know the English sentence, I called you in the masjid. Okay. So I is my doer here. Called is my file. Okay. That's fail. So I call. And file, you know, the maful is you. So I called you or I gave you or I, I gave dawa to you. Okay. So you is my maful here. Where? In the masjid. So this is also a maful. Okay. So maful, this is also where did they give this dawa thing? In the masjid. But in the masjid is fil masajidi, right? Fil masajidi or fil masjidi. Okay. So fil masjidi, it is also mutalik will fail because this is a half of jar. So what I'm trying to say here, sometimes the maful fihi, okay, maful fihi, which is a, you know, when and where details, when and where details, is has a different title called mutalik bil fail because it is half of jar. It is a half of jar. Okay. Everybody clear on that or any confusion? So maful MBF, which is a, a mutalik bil fail, is a different terminology. Why you call them mutalik will fail? Because they are just like mutalik will khabar. Only thing that they are half of jar in a jumla ismiya sentence. They are half of jar in jumla failure sentence. In theory, they are also one of them a full because it's, it's giving it's giving you a time and a place also. Okay, it's, it's giving you a details. It's a details about the fail, but it is still a details. Okay, so MBF. If I say uh, MBF mutalik will fail is a kind of maful. True or false? True or false? MBF is a kind of maful. True. True. Yes, true. Mm -hmm. It is true. MBF is a kind of... But if I say MBK is a uh, maful, no, that's not true because MBK is a part of Joomla Ismiya. Okay, it's not Joomla failure anymore. Okay, so MBF, which is Mutalik will fail, 
is a is a type of muffle, but they you know the grammarian put them a different title because they are MBF, they are half of jar. That's why they call them in a different way. Okay, and these are the four components of Joomla failure. These are the four components of Joomla failure. In Joomla Ismia, we have three components: Muttada Khabar and Mutallik Bil Khabar. In Joomla failure, we have four components. Okay, you know, file fail. Okay, uh, maful and Mutallik will fail. Okay. In fact, actually, this uh, the last two part. You know, details. You know, the uh, MBF and maful. They are basically same component. As I say, different grammarians categorize them in a different way. Okay, but because it's a half of jar, okay, it's a half of jar, okay, uh, just to make them a bit separate, okay, they tell them that their mutalik will fail, okay. So even in the Joomla failure, there are three parts essentially, but you can say it as a fourth part because one of them is like a Joomla, uh, is a jar module. And does all four parts has to be in a Joomla failure? No, it doesn't have to be. Just like, you know, we have sometimes, you know, Joomla Ismi, we had Muqtada and Khabar only. We have Muqtada and Mutalik will Khabar only, okay? So just like here, but in Joomla failure, obviously a fail must be there. Okay, without a fail, cannot be a Joomla failure, okay? And when fail is there, someone has to do the fail. It could be inside door or outside door. So fail and file is a mandatory part. A fail and file is a mandatory way. There could be a muffle, there could not be a muffle, there could be more than one muffle, there could be a muffle that is jar majrur, and that time we'll call them MBF. Mutalik will fail. Is that clear to everyone? Okay. Is there anything uh, about the sequence? Any any rules for the sequence? Yes, there is some rules for sequence. So we are coming, inshallah, we'll do it in the next week. Okay. Inshallah, so, we'll do it in the next week. Yes. So just like we have Muqtada Khabar and Mutallik will cover, we had some sequence. We have some ekhtisas there, like, you know, some uh, some only thing exclusivity. We did this. Very similar thing is also in Joomla failure, but we'll do it, inshallah. Inshallah, next week um, uh, when we come back. So today uh, we learned about a very important thing about maful, okay? Maful and different types of maful, just for our understanding, okay? Maful bihi, maful lahu, maful fihi, maful hal, maful mutlak. And we saw an example of each of them, okay? Then in the maful, there is a special category of maful, which we call MBF. Why and how do you know them? when they are a jar majrur or anything attached with the jar majrur, okay? So they are called MBF. And then we saw, as, as you can see in the screen, there are four parts of the Joomla failure, fail, file, maful, and, you know, muta leg will fail, okay? And as the brother Saiful is saying, there are some sequencing thing, is yes, there is sequencing thing, and we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about them next week, inshallah. Uh, but the sequencing of Joomla failure uh, doesn't have that much of impact as, sequencing of Joomla Ismia that we did, okay? In, in, in Ismia, we said that, you know, when the uh, Mutallik will cover is Muqaddam, meaning before, okay? Then it has emphasis, like, you know, exclusivity, okay? Only Allah that we worship, okay? Something like that, okay? But in, in, in Joomla failure, also there is, but not as uh, as prominent or as uh, as as many as found uh, as we can find in the Joomla Ismia. So Joomla failure is not that much, okay? So the sequencing part is there, but it is not very uh, common, okay? And some of the times, although the sequence is a bit of a change, we don't bring anything extra for that. We leave it like this, okay? And we're gonna talk about it next week, inshallah ta'ala. So with this, I'm gonna close the video today. Uh, and then if you have any question, uh, we're gonna go through that, inshallah ta'ala. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu Allah ilhan, tastakfiru ka'atubu ilayki.